Grand opening happening today in Cross Plains that will create a central location for the ICH Trail Preservation Initiative. Longtime volunteer Irene Klein getting the honor of cutting the ribbon of the new ICH Trail Alliance building. This building will serve as the state's ICH Trail headquarters where fundraising, volunteer and trail building initiatives will be handled. An initiative already underway in Cross Plains continue today thanks to hundreds of volunteers. The ICH Trail there is being expanded this weekend, but it's decision this week by the Dane County Board has some volunteers speaking up. News 3's Maria Guerrero explains. Maria? Yeah, Andy. Well, the Dane County Board voting on Thursday to delay a deal that would connect the National Scenic Trail in another part of Cross Plains. Well, this has some volunteers hoping a deal can still be struck. From there. Volunteers from near and far are unearthing a historic path the glaciers traveled thousands of years ago. At this point, we've uh, set in the tread itself, and at this time, we have to establish the back slope. For volunteers like Rachel Roberts, constructing more than two miles of new trail in Cross Plains is something she didn't want to miss out on. Being able to make a sustainable trail that people from all walks of life can come out, see um, nature at its best. But this walk through nature isn't exactly connected down the road. It's one gap of, of many that we just need to close. The effort to close the gap by purchasing this 138 acre parcel of land to connect the trail to other parts may be lost. Questioning the cost per acre, the county board delayed the $3 million deal to buy the land from owner Janice Faga. Faga's attorney now says the deal is off, leaving Tom Gilbert of the National Park Service surprised. The landowner is really in the driver's seat here. Um, the landowner is free to uh, develop the land or do whatever. She's also free to you know, make another attempt at negotiation if, uh, if she would be willing to do that. It would have been fantastic. Um, it would have um, given us closed some of the gap. For volunteers like Roberts, the work to preserve this natural treasure will continue as they clear the way for generations to come. It's a love of being outdoors. It's um, a way to give back to everybody. Tom Gilbert of the National Park Service says there is still some willingness by part of the Ice Age Trail partners to renegotiate with this landowner, Janice Faga. Now, as for the volunteer weekend, tomorrow is the last day of the new trail building in Cross Plains. The work starts at 8 in the morning and goes until noon. So if you're interested in helping out, you're just asked to show up at the American Legion Hall in Cross Plains tomorrow morning. You don't even have to call. Just show up. All right. The Ice Age Trail, such a beautiful oh, part of Oh, it is so gorgeous out there. All right, Maria, thank you very much. Okay.